Good morning, puppies. Good morning, puppies. There's always something going on on Grandpa's farm. A place where you're always welcome. Come on, Lily. Let's go feed. Wow. Blowing all the blooms off the trees. A little high wind today. Dogs bathe in the bucket. Old Pluto likes to get his paws in there for some reason. Well, he settled down. Windy, windy day today. Now you guys have some clean water to drink. Oh. Well, I guess it rained pretty good last night. The wind. <coughs> you can't tell by the sound of me, I'm still getting over the flu. But. First thing you gotta do every morning is come out and take care of your critters. Long-standing rules in my household is that the animals get fed and watered before we do, or I do. And if you're a homesteader, that's a rule I suggest everybody maintain. First thing you do in the morning, break the day, daylight. What is it? 6.30 this morning, 6.40 maybe, a.m. We go out and feed and water the animals. All right? Let them get out, let them run around, let them poop. Clearly get. They already got the toy you want. Go get it. Ah. everybody out there in YouTube land this morning, huh? <coughs> Day, what is it, 22, 23 of having the flu? <sighs> sick and tired of being sick and tired, that's for sure. Anyhow, <clears throat> up at first light, as you can tell, kind of dark yet. Let the puppies out, let them go run around. See the puppies? Running around, having fun, getting exercise, getting fresh air, getting out and playing together, five of them. Terrorizing the yard, scaring the hell out of the ducks. See? 
over here scaring the ducks. Hello, duckies. Those are my rowlins. Those are the rowlin ducks. They're like big fat mallards. They don't fly. They're a meat bird. They're also a layer. They do about 140 to 170 eggs a year. Not prolific layers, but not bad. As opposed to my silver apple yards, which are over there in their little isolation pen. <clears throat> silver apple yards will lay like 250 eggs a year. They're good layers. Fact is, they started laying. <coughs> Let's see, I got them in the early summer. They started laying around October, I think. October, maybe November, somewhere in there. And have been laying nonstop all through the winter. They laid straight through the winter. I got five, six eggs a day all winter long. Which is great, because chickens will stop laying in the winter time. <coughs> Sorry about the coffee, folks, but anyhow. Uh, I just put a video up about incubating eggs. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you've not seen it, I'll put a link to it up here. If I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> oh, got uh, uh, I got these ducks, the uh, silver apple yards. She's setting on eggs. She's broody. Once again, folks, if you have a broody bird, let her set eggs. There's no reason what. There's no reason in the world to break brood. I've heard so many of these homesteading channels talking about breaking a broody bird. <coughs> it makes no sense. What's your cost? What's your cost of having a bird go broody? That bird will, will reduce, it won't stop completely, but it will slow down its egg production. Okay, so let's take a look at that. They're broody for on ducks, 28 days. So let's say 30 days, we'll round it up. So let's say you don't get any eggs from that duck for 30 days. That's a month, 30 days, okay? So what's that? Two and a half dozen eggs, right? So how much are two and a half dozen eggs worth? Duck eggs, $4 a dozen, so I'm out eight, 10 bucks. I'm out $10 for the month for that hen not producing any eggs. Now, she's sitting on a clutch of eggs. Let's say she hatches out five, just five babies. Silver apple yards, go online and check the other hatcheries, $13 a piece for uh, for the females, and I think $9 a piece, something like that, for the males. So let's say $11 a piece on average. So she hatches out five eggs. I got five biddies. That's $55. $55 worth of ducklings that I can sell if I don't want them uh, and all I lost was ten dollars worth of eggs it doesn't make any sense to be uh, all that worried about it let her go ahead and set now the only other reason get down <coughs> get dogs want me to play fetch get the only other reason that I've heard why people will break brood is because they're worried about it sitting in the same place for too long and getting mites and stuff. Well, you got a dirty duck pen or a dirty nest area if that's the case. Um, what I do whenever I have a bird go broody, like in this case, is I separate her out. I put her in a, like a dog crate, like you can see there, with fresh bedding inside, clean straw that doesn't have mites and stuff in it. And I put her and the drake in there and keep them separate. That takes care of the problems with having a broody hen get mites. Um, nice, clean, fresh bedding in there. So, not a big deal. Just got to just gotta do the do, people. Just got to do the do. So anyhow, let me put you back on my head and I'll play with the pups here for a little bit. All right, give me that. 
Give me that. Go get it. <coughs> Lily comes into me with such force, she about knocks me over. There she comes. Easy. Easy. It's always these three playing fetch. Lily and the two boys. The two girls, you see Sunflower there kind of getting into it a little bit, but Sunflower and Rose kind of do their own thing. They don't like the, they don't like the fetch. Lily, quick. Second. Lily, give it here. There's Rose getting in on action. Rose will challenge Lily. <coughs> None of the rest of them will really challenge her. But Rose will challenge Lily and Lily will back away from Rose. Which I find surprising. We got a four-way tug of war going over there with Lily trying to referee from the outside. Uh, I gotta get something to drink here, guys. A little seltzer water. Uh, clear my throat a little bit. Oh, there we go. Hey, Mercury. Hey, buddy. How you doing, huh? You want your butt scratched? Is that it? You want your butt scratched? <coughs> Come on, Sunflower, bring it to me. Come on, Sunflower. I'm gonna keep them busy for a while. Easy. Ooh, Wendy. Oh no, here we go. Ah, easy. Come on. Flying burrito, brother. Easy. <laughs> Knocking me over. Oh, wow. Pluto got it. There they go. Round and round and round they go. <coughs> I'm okay, Mercury. I'm okay. Anytime I cough up anything or blow my nose or anything like that, Mercury comes running over to me. He wants to make sure I'm okay. <coughs> well, Pluto had it, and now Rose has it, and she's not giving it up. So, so much for playing fetch for a little bit. Hey, Sunflower. Hey, sweetie. Come here. Oh, she's a good girl. You sweetheart. Yeah, you're a sweet dog. You're such a sweet dog. I don't know if you hear that splashing in the background, but that's old Pluto playing in the bucket. Watch when he comes back out. His paws will be all wet. And the water will be dirty again. Well, we got some big changes going on. As soon as I get a little bit healthier, got some big changes going on. I'm gonna finish cleaning this tree up and getting that out of the way. I'm disassembling and putting away the hydroponic system. That was set up to commercially raise lettuce, but that plan has changed. So for the time being, that's gonna get put aside and put up. Then we're gonna put in a new garden. Right along in through here, we're gonna put in a new garden. 
I'm converting the duct pan and some more of these panels that I have set over there. I'm going to convert this into three separate dog pens. And then I'm going to move these ducks into the current dog pen where they're at now. <coughs> with this with this house connected to the side of the dog pen so the ducks can still get inside their their nest area. That's going to get cleaned out. And then I'm going to build two dog houses. Um, one, a single sheet of plywood dog house, and I'll make a video of that so you guys can see how that's done. Right, I'm going to move this dog house that the dogs have now. It's a, it's a nice insulated dog house. All four can fit in there, but it's tight for them now that they're full grown. Um, and then I'm going to build a insulated, well, maybe not insulated, not this time of year. I'm going to build a, a four foot by four foot, like this, duck house, but four feet high, uh, a whelping pen, a whelping house, so that the dogs can go in there and have puppies. That'll be a useful tool for me uh, on, on my micro-urban homestead right now until I get myself relocated, which is taking forever. But it's what it is. We're working on it day by day. Day by day, we're working on it. There they go. Off to the races. Off to the races. I can have the camera angle right so you guys can see that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Lily just took it from Rose. All right, give it here. Give it here. No, get down. You know better than to jump up on me yet. See how wet he is? Look at Pluto. All wet for playing in the bucket. Go get her. Go get her, Pluto. What I'm really looking forward to here is a little breeding activity, guys. Come on. Gotta get these females come into heat. They should be. I mean, they're almost a year old now. Which is fine, you know, that's what we wanted to wait for. We want to wait for them to get about a year old, then breed them. <clears throat> you don't want to breed them as pups. But once they hit the one year mark, they're good to go. Ow. Oh, poor Pluto. He's getting all beat up over there. Girls, be nice to him. Quit trying to eat his ears off. <coughs> they do beat up on that guy pretty bad. I don't know where Lily is. She's around the side there. There's a place around the side they go to go to the bathroom. Hey, Mercury. Come here, bud. Mercury, come. Oh, there's Lily. There you is. Where you been? Uh, where have you been? You want your butt rubbed? You want a butt rub, do you? You want a butt rub? Hey, Rose. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How you doing, Mercury, huh? How you doing, Mercury? Oh, he's a good boy. Good boy. Not like having all these beautiful, loving dogs in my life. I love it. I love it. My golden hounds. My golden hounds. Yes, you are. You're a golden hound. <coughs> oh, hi there. A good dog. Oh, man. I just heard a goose. There's some goose ponds over that way. Some um, cooling ponds for the mall over there. Hey, Rose. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you're Pluto. Never mind. Hey, Pluto. How's it going, buddy? Now oh, get. Get. Take that away from you. Get. Hey, Rose. That's Rose there. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. <coughs> hey, 
Anyhow, there's some cooling ponds over there for the, for the shopping mall. And a lot of geese live there year round. And so we get a flyby over on top of the house here on a regular basis. One thing I enjoy watching, being the old duck hunter that I am. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, no, that's turkey buzzard. Turkey buzzard. Turkey buzzard just flew by. I was looking for, uh, I was looking for a uh, uh, goose. Big black turkey buzzard went by. Huh, that's not, that's not cool. Turkey buzzards usually indicate something dead. It's just one, so it's probably fine and looking for something. Well, anyhow. Gonna rain today. It's been raining. As you can see how muddy the yard is, it's been raining practically non-stop around here. <coughs> I'm okay, Mercury. See? I cough, Mercury comes running. He wants to make sure I'm okay, don't you, buddy? You want to make sure I'm okay, huh? You want to make sure I'm okay? You good dog. You good boy. Go get him. He's a good dog. It's sort of funny. Anytime I really cough or if I clear my throat or blow my nose or sneeze or get a coughing fit, he'll come running up here to check on me. He's the only one that does. Even Lily doesn't do that. No. Mercury loves me. They all do. Great having all these dogs. Gonna increase my kennel size, I've decided. <coughs> I want two more females. At least two more. Maybe three. I've only got three girls. I think I'd like to get three more. Be nice when I get my own place and I can actually let them in the house, start start housebreaking them. That'd be nice. <laughs> set up a dog room, you know, I set up a living room for dogs, so easy wipe down couches and that kind of stuff so you can keep it clean, you know, vinyl floor so if there's an accident it's easy to clean up. A dog room. Which would be my main room in the house. That'll be fun once we get that set up. <laughs> so as I was saying, big plants, garden going in. Our our last frost date is April 28th, so we can't plant anything until after April 28th. So um, I'm going to get in here and start turning the soil. I'm going to build a fence around to keep the dogs out of it. Although the dogs are going to go inside new pens of their own, um, I still want to fence off the garden because I still let them out of their pens and let them run around the yard. I don't want them tearing up the garden when I do that. Even though I'm out here watching them, I want to keep them out of it. And, of course, the fencing then is some place for the the beans and things like that to grow up on, tomatoes and what have you. No, I don't want to stick. I don't want to stick. I don't get. I don't want to stick. Get. 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 Lily, I said get. Come on, go play. Go run. Get. Lily, go lay down. I've told you a couple times. Go lay down. Go on. Go on. Go lay down. Get. Get. She just wants to be with me. <coughs> oh, the damn flu. Yes, Mercury, I'm okay, buddy. I'm okay. I'm just coughing. See? I'm suck a flower, play a mother. I'm not throwing a stick. Get. Here. I'll give you some loving. I'll give you some loving. I give you guys some love and no, I'm not throwing a stick yet. Get the stick out of my face.
Now, Rose is going to come and steal her stack. No, I guess not. Get. Dirty dog. Get, you dirty dog. Look how muddy you are. Get. Get. I don't want you bouncing on me. You get me all filthy. You guys wonder why I'm always dirty all the time. Well, this is why. You dirty and scratched up. Get. Have dogs come up and jump up on me and scratch my arms and scratch me. Get! Alright, I'm gonna ignore you. Hey, yeah, pretty beautiful out here this morning. All the trees are in bloom. Look at that gorgeous tree. Really nice across the roads in bloom. This one was all white, but it looks like the wind shredded it. A uh, little apple tree there. Or pear or plum, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's never produced fruit that I've ever seen. And we got this guy here in bloom. Kind of pretty. <coughs> and that other tree looks like it did. I don't see any, any growth on it at all. Looks like some buds up at the top. So I don't know. We'll see. Anyhow, kids. I'm... Anyhow, kids, I'm going to go ahead and end this here, so... You guys have a great day. Be good, be careful, take good care of one another, and we will have more for you later. Bye. Well, how about them toad suckers? Ain't they sappy? Sucking them toads all shore, make them happy. Hug them, mug of toad suckers way down south. Sticking them sucky toads in they mouth. I be a toad sucker, don't a duck it. You just find an old toad and you rear back and suck it. Folks, you have a good day. Bye.